Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is the Midlands to London on Transport Fever 2. In today's episode we're going to be building Tilbury Docks, uh, the Tilbury Loop and possibly part of HS1 as well uh, down in, well obviously down in London in the southeast. Uh, in the last episode we finally built rugby, uh, not rugby, we built that in the previous episodes of that and we built Coventry Station so we've built the entire West Coast Main Line from London to Birmingham now. Obviously we've still got the Trent Valley to do but I thought as we've done like bulk of the West Coast Main Line I thought we'd head back down to London and take a look at some of the railways along around there. So this is, where are we? We're at, is it Roadie Cutting which basically is where the West Coast Main Line branches off to go to Northampton or to Rugby. So somebody did mention in the comments, I can't remember who it was, but they did say about recreating this. So I've had a quick look on Google Earth and this is my kind of approximation of it with it there's a little bit of a wall there but there's just mostly trees and things like that so it's a little bit replicated as it branches off so I've uh, put that in there just to add a little bit of detail and interest to the line I've still got a lot of I think most of what I'm going to do is plant trees alongside the tracks for the most part just just makes the cab rides look a little bit better you know it just doesn't look so empty but I think I will be adding little bits of detail here and there as I, as I go along and hopefully fixing some of the catenary masts which are hanging in midair as well but uh, yeah we'll get on to that later so heading down in the last episode we built Coventry Railway Station which wasn't hugely complicated but it was just getting this junction right the one going to Leamington Spa and the one off to Nuneaton as well the Nuneaton to Coventry Railway uh, off camera I did a little bit of work so I put this circular bypass road in which isn't like massively accurate because it is a lot of it is grade separated but it's just there anyway and I've extended some roads out here I don't imagine the game is going to build over here but I'm giving it the best chance it can to to spread out so yeah, we've got Coventry station in there uh, one thing I have done actually is I put in a multi-story car park because I forgot I had the multi-story car park asset so here there is a multi-story car park and the actual station building whilst it's not massively accurate is I think Coventry has just recently had a massive upgrade program to the building itself so the building at the front is like a really modern building I'm not so sure about the actual platform level but I just decided to go oh, what's going on there actually decided to go with the King's Cross segments and there's one missing there for some reason so we need to go to King's Cross don't we King's Cross uh, yeah from what I can see the roof looks still fairly fairly oldish looking 1970s maybe obviously but I just wanted the lifts and the stair the escalators on that so there we are Coventry and we've got the services running from Birmingham New Street to London Euston so heading down south now we have the what is the London spaghetti which is going on here all very complicated I've got to try and get up and hooked onto this line and obviously the, over here we've got HS1 as well I've realigned the Thames so it's not I don't think it's geographically accurate anymore but I've just kind of had to force it to basically the will of the railway just so I can get things lined up correctly because first thing we're going to need is Tilbury docks to be constructed around here it's not going to be massively accurate now I know there has just been released a massive asset I'm not entirely sure what it is but it does generate a big like container terminal which would be cool but looking at it it does look fairly compl complicated it almost looks like an industry or it might in fact actually be an industry so I think I'm just going to go with this I know there is like a dock a key a locked tidal dock thing what's, what's it called when it's not tidal the other one but I don't think I'm going to recreate that. I'm just going to recreate like a the container terminal, I think, which is just on the actual River Thames itself. So it will be a tidal tidal dock, I think. Uh, so what do we want? We want a couple of these, I think. No one. Can I go alongside? Flip. Can, can you flip these? No, they just do what they want. I would like it like running alongside, like like that. Yeah, like that. So we can create a big key. Now, can I put one of these? Put a few of these actually alongside. Can we? Could we get? Can I get rid of that? What does that do? Can I get a couple of those buildings in? I can. That's yeah. That doesn't look too bad actually. We'll take that. So this is Tilbury, Tilbury Dock, like so. Not nothing super complicated. Just nice straightforward dock. Just to make it look like a bit of container terminal. I might come back later on and see if I can do something to make it look a bit more container terminally maybe creating 
like little precise docks isn't so straightforward with transport fever is it I mean I could come around the side of it a bit I guess like that could I does that look no because then we need a little bit along here the railway I yeah, it's not actually we can craze a little bit I think of it one of the berths anyway maybe maybe another one can we just if we adjust the brush size right down can we create quite detailed looking docks let's bring that down a little bit level some of this off maybe brush size a little bit bigger so we want to bring this in alongside just want a nice flat angle if I can flat angle flat side and then I think it need, I think the brush needs to be a little bit bigger and then just have one of the docks over here just to make it look that much better I guess I can come in later on with containers and things like that just to add a little bit of detail but just want a nice flat side actually we can I think we might be able to get away with doing all three of the keys that it's got by the looks of it and there's a bit of a basin and then there's a uh, looks by the looks of it there's like a lock as well so these basically are you know you can only get out of this berth during high tide or during yeah yeah during high tide that would be right wouldn't it right let's can I just make that look nice it's not very neat I wonder if there's any keys or anything in the actual workshop is there if anybody knows of any keys let me know in the comments because that would tidy this right up I guess I could use the retaining walls but that would take a lot of work just for the sake of a like a little bit of a key it would be nice just to have a nice easy way of doing keys I know we want this to be that at that level actually I mean I'll just paint I think what I'll do for now is I'll just paint this with concrete with the you know the concrete paintbrush maybe if I just extend that out and then just yeah finish this off something a little bit like that anyway I think that will do I don't want to spend hours on the dock because we've got a lot of railway to build I was hoping to get towards the west coast main line in this episode but I think it's probably going to take two episodes to get towards the west coast main line just because of how complicated the tracks are I thought it was just a straightforward job maybe building one of like the North is it the North London line and the Goblin line as well but there is intersections with HS1 going on so I guess now is a good time to actually get HS1 started to like to get that well I know it's 1998 so it wouldn't have been built yet but I'm just as the tracks there I think we should just get it done because basically it has to it has to interact with other pieces of track doesn't it so I don't want to have to come back in later on and you know rearrange everything so that's done I think we'll just for now just chuck a bit of the asphalt paint down which is the closest approximation to concrete obviously I've got to make this look a heck of a lot nicer but that's basically Hilbury Dock Shenfield might get moved possibly and might need to relocate that but it's in the rough sort of location and then we need to get this line in here now there is I'm not sure right let's 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 get some tracks down first of all so we've got this no this doesn't want to be a track this wants to be a station does it want to be one of these now do I want a bit of road first maybe some street can I put no I've got to put it alongside it might have to move this no, we might have to redo that right let's put a bit of road in alongside here now it does look looking at this it looks does look very empty at the minute doesn't it all of this so I think I would like to get something on there uh, right so let's flatten this off I mean actually it doesn't need to be huge the amount of space that we need we just need enough for a piece of track to run alongside this road here or for a station either a station or a piece of track I'm gonna try and get these walls to look as flat as possible and then if I put in one of these fake ones street connection allowed if I do that will it yeah it will go straight across Try length of track 300 280 ah that's good so hopefully this will just act as a railhead term and product will be on standard tracks we may as well use high speed some of it looks quite modern actually and we can't quite get that lined up with the road which is unfortunate uh, catenary no street connection yes number of tracks just one and hopefully 
I mean, we might have to come back and make this an actual yeah that looks rubbish an actual cargo station but hopefully that should work with the street connection so let's put that run that wrong road alongside a bit like that just so it's a lot more even and then what we need to do is we need another rail head here just to make this accurate so we'll have that there and then we'll have another another one of these about about here running alongside pretty much no it's not it's, it's more over here actually and then we'll get a piece of track in so we need we'll have a junction going off that just on the flat and then what we need is another piece of track which curves around nicely not ugly like that was just straight round into there and then can no not like that can I just oh that's not too bad actually just straight into there like that that's better yeah so I'll put that station in because there is no like the line doesn't go directly into the Tilbury loop it just has trains obviously must have to come in back off and then reverse into and out of the dock so we'll run another another piece of track alongside it something a bit like that so the, yeah, the train's going to come out of Tilbury docks um, yeah Tilbury not Shenfield actually no this isn't this we'll call this London Container Terminal and we'll call this one Tilbury Docks. Yeah, and I'll have to do a lot of detailing around here with containers just to make that look that little bit better. What I've actually got going on, which I know is a little bit complicated and probably unnecessary, is I've got some barges coming down. So what we're doing currently, this is very, very convoluted for where the food is eventually going to end up. But we've got two farms via by Slough. Then that's the grains getting shipped down to this food processing factory. And then we're shipping the food via barge all the way down the Thames to Tilbury. I know in real life the containers would be coming from Europe or from that direction anyway, but I think I, I think it just looks cool to have like these sorts of barges going up and down the Thames because I think the Tem you would see like these dredges and things like that, garbage carriers, rubbish carriers going up and down the Thames. So I think it just brings a bit of life to the Thames. As, is that going to collide with the pi pillar? Yes, never mind. Yeah, great. Never mind, we'll ignore that. But yeah, just a little bit of life to the Thames. So we're going to have food being shipped in over here. And then from Tilbury, it's going to go by the West Coast Main Line to the Daventry Terminal. And then food from the Daventry Terminal is going to get distributed to... Not sure where yet, but it'll be just maybe to Northampton. Maybe Coventry to get Coventry to grow. I'll, I will adjust the requirements in the editor. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Right, so there's the first little bit done. Next we need some track, which is gonna come from this sort of direction. Yeah, it heads down towards, it does head down towards the Thames. Does this wanna be electrified? Not sure yet, I think I'll leave it for now. And then when it meets the Thames, it almost takes like a 90 degree turn and go somewhere else. Not entirely sure yet. Not to, it's not definitely not a Shenfield because that would be something else, wouldn't it? And then as we come along here, we need to curve quite a lot towards probably more than it ought to actually, like that, yeah. Right, I'm just trying to, this is why I've had to adjust the Thames so much, you'll have to, if you're from Lon London or the South East and you're thinking that looks nothing like the Thames, yeah, you'll just have to let me off because it is just basically trying to get it, obviously trying to make a river in Transport Fever isn't the best and we've also got like stuff going on with hs1 and uh, bridges and tunnels as well so yeah you'll just have to let me off on that one so this wants to head towards the thames now i've got three drawings in total i don't think i'm going to get through all three in this episode so we've got so i don't think this should be on the curve but obviously with the scale being out it's going to have to be on the curve and then it runs into there and then we'll have a switch there and then actually i think we'll just get rid of some of this track now i've got rid of the wrong bit of track get rid of that and that run alongside and then just enough room for a switch it doesn't have to be particularly quick i don't think i'm going to put in a little station here i think we'll just use that i think uh, three 160. oh is that a little bit that's a little bit long Let's get rid of some of this as we have an auto save. 
yeah I think we'll have to curve in, uh, curve it in a little bit more I'm not sure if ser any services are going to use this track eventually but we will just have it we'll have it there anyway well obviously we need this little bit of track yeah actually I don't think somebody was saying I did ask I don't think this is electrified this certainly isn't so the actual services that operate from Tilbury to Daventry are are diesel unfortunately just because there's a little tiny section of track which isn't electrified which just means that I'm non -elect like it has to be a diesel service so we'll get the switch in there and then the building in there Kater, medium high speed no catenary we won't have any building we don't need to worry about that and he's still not in the right direction it needs to be a little bit more sharp that corner just I, because I basically what I want is the station the track to be pointing towards this bit here so I need it to be pointing over there so we can take a sharp turn and then heads then it starts to run alongside HS1 so we need to get this need to get this in right first time get that switch in and then another switch doesn't really matter too much about how fast it is just need it getting it in pointing in the right direction good right so then this runs straight we have a little bit of a complicated junction arrangement so we'll have it straight we've got a bit of track here so this station that I've put in is uh, Grays yeah it's just called Grays not sure if it'll get used for any passenger services it might do at some stage but there are a couple of switches over here another one there and then another one and then actually this runs alongside for a little bit further yet so we'll run this alongside I happen to be a bit little bit mindful that I don't go too far yeah, so I think I already have gone too far have I can I get away with this let's see it might have to be I think might have to make these switches a little bit smaller or a little bit shorter rather we've got one where's, where's my other drawing we've got one there another one there make them a little bit slower yeah because they might not get used so I think we can get away with slightly sh uh, s slower switches it's just the amount we've got to get in so there's another one that does that another one across there and then this branches off somewhere and another one in there I mean this branch might not ever get used but I'm just I just want to make sure it is there and obviously as ever with the scale being off it's not going to be yeah there's a lot of switches going on there isn't there which just makes what I need to do next that little bit more complicated I think I'll get rid of some of this track here because what I need to do next is I need to use a compact tunnel entry I think that's a little bit too long maybe I think I might have just pushed that in I think we'll have to delete all of this yeah I've made that a little bit too sharp I need a little bit more space so I think I've pushed that out maybe out a little bit more to about there see no get rid of can I not just can I not put a piece of track in all right so I'll have a little bit of track there this running alongside this switch here is going to be slow and then we'll have a passenger building in there and I think that looks a little bit better and then we'll curve that out I think although I do want to be do want to be right by this curve yeah so the only, the only problem with this not being to scale isn't it is everything's just a little bit like compressed so we'll have that in into there I'll have that switch back there too much curve come on just just let me have a little switch in I'm not overly concerned about whatever branch this is I'm currently building as I buried my drawing oh no super high-tech drawings that I use it's just so much easier especially as I have to be kind of looking <laughs> looking in one direction uh, but yeah this isn't working all my drawings are just sliding all over the place now good right so we've got that switch there I've got another one there a little as small as I can get away with and then another one and then another one and then this can go off somewhere and then we'll have another switch that runs like that and then this we want to go back to the building so not no track construction no length try and get away with as short as possible it is going to make this quite like a yeah now this might have to redo the Thames again 
what I should have probably done is the track first but I just wanted to try and orientate things as good as I could because we've got to get this in here this is basically the start of HS1 which needs to be as close to the Thames as I can get it which is on my other drawing so yeah the HS1 goes under the Thames here I think I might need to make that a little bit smaller but it does mean it's going to be a very it's going to be a very steep angle going under the Thames but it doesn't matter it's only for show really I can't imagine I don't think maybe I might have a service actually going off under the Thames and then I'll have an underground station there just as a terminus for the services so we've got this firing off in that sort of direction and then the Thames immediately not the Thames the HS1 so I think I need what I need to do is raise this up actually the only problem with that is me I think it's gonna have to be slightly away from the Thames right so I'll bring that up a little bit like that trying to get the orientation over in that sort of direction when no that's facing the wrong way try that again something a bit like a bit like that and then what I need to do is do something with the terrain is bring this terrain up from here so just have that flat against that something a bit like that anyway just hide that that tunnel approach and then what I'll have to do because basically what I'm trying to do now is I do have well I did have I don't know if I've got it switched on because I couldn't get it to work the zero height bridges which is would be really helpful right now but I think I'll, I'll try it this way anyway we'll just level this terrain off yeah it probably wouldn't be better to do HS1 first of all anyway wouldn't it and then if we go from here we are and then can I lower the terrain down a little bit maybe here no, we're going straight into uh, straight into water there no don't bring it up how low can I go before we um, end up with water not very low is the answer to that uh, up there maybe yeah it would be would be a heck of a lot easier with the zero height bridges which I don't appear to have turned on but I couldn't get it to work anyway I mu it must have been something I was doing wrong definitely but it just wasn't working for me Right, so lower all this terrain maybe maybe use a slightly bigger brush and then just get this track up onto a bridge onto a brand new concrete structure something like that which it pretty much remains on for most of its journey like for most of its length across here like so and then we've got threading the needle a little bit here We've got another piece of track here which yeah i'm going to keep that non-electrifying i'll electrify it in a bit but we've got the tilbury loop which comes across here yeah we are gonna are going to have to realign the thames so we've got tilbury loop like that a little bit a little bit like that anyway and then it kind of heads off quite a severe angle to go back under hs1 but what we also need is a road two rows in fact so i'm going to use that uh, one two three it's going to, have to be quite high what happens with does that go underneath hs1 it does but it goes over the tilbury okay maybe we put the road in first because what we need to do is we need to go under hs1 first of all with this one so this is the dartford crossing this is the tunnel one so it goes can i see how close I can get that to HS1 without it colliding so that's as low as we can go and then we need to kind of get that up and over which is going to be I think we'll use the pillarless concrete structure bring that down a little bit it is all a little bit ugly I know so that's the top the dark the tunnel I don't think we're going to be able to get into it so we've got to go <laughs> from here into a tunnel oh which we can do that's all right so maybe even a little bit a little bit lower good it's, it's not it's not attractive i know but it does the job and then we need a piece of track this track here comes in from that sort of angle no sort of angle under there that's that's worked it's going to take a lot of work to make this look attractive, I know, but uh, for now I just want to get this in place. 
yeah definitely better doing it from this angle and then we'll mess around with the Gray's station later on I mean we don't even need to put the station in really but I just wanted it it there right so that's in now the next one is the Queen Elizabeth the second bridge which whoa I don't know what that is but it's pretty ugly which I do want to be a cable stayed bridge eventually but we don't have it unlocked yet. There is a vanilla cable stay bridge which will do the job nicely. But we don't have access to it yet. So I'm just going to leave it as that for now. But that's actually not worked out too bad. And then this can actually probably come up to run alongside. So it's like there's two Dartford crossings isn't there? There's the tunnel and then there's the, the bridge itself. And we'll just put that in there. For now although I don't like don't like what that's done with that track yeah if we just bring obviously we don't want to be colliding with things if we can help it obviously we've got a little bit of collision going on there and then we just have that running ideally it should run straight on the hs1 get rid of that i think we'll do that later get this bit get this bit done first so you run under hs1 like that there is a little bit of a collision there let's try this again from here so you want to run up something a bit like that we'll use i think actually we'll use the pillarless concrete bridge and we'll have that shouldn't be any collision because that's that's the wrong one that's why where are you that one yeah that one without pillars lift that up over to there and then this one as well should be start to run alongside i think and then I think I'll do that without pillars and I'll put the pillars in manually later on. I just want these two bridge sections to be... I think they will almost want to be on the same level as each other. Like so. And then we'll get rid of all of this here. Yeah, we will. I think I'll realign the Thames again. Just to make it look correct. It might not be geographically correct, but at least it will look a little bit correct. So we'll have that in there. So we've got the Tilbury loop in. And then we'll have a building, we will have the station in, just because it just gives a reason for those three tracks to exist, I think. And we, there might be something that uses this little spur eventually. You know, that's still a little bit close to that, isn't it? We're not going to get all those junctions in, that's the only thing. Maybe we just won't have all the junctions in and have that going off. Although we could probably have this going off on a little bit of a different angle, maybe. Let's try that. So we'll have that going over that sort of direction with the pillarless slender bridge just makes our life a little bit easier maybe if we have it going off in that direction that should be low enough i think something a bit like that and then this one obviously wants to run alongside and i'll worry about the pillars later on well that's a completely different bridge altogether never mind now that wants to be and i I can't change the bridge can I or can I yes I can change it to this one it doesn't it doesn't really matter I think I'll have to do a lot of work off camera to get this to look better but for now I just want to get this in the right sort of direction all looks a little bit floaty and things like that now but it will all make sense later on and then HS1 goes on the ground for a little bit on in, no I think it's just kind of ground level but I think I will raise that up just to make my life a little bit easier. So we'll have that running along. Obviously this wants to be quick. I don't know if it's 186 miles per hour as it approaches London. Obviously they won't be because it's coming towards Stratford Station. But we want a nice quick alignment. We'll keep that on the ground level. Yeah, not, not so worried about the speed. This is quite a sharp turn. As this comes alongside HS1. And then we want another, another viaduct. Another nice... Actually, no, we don't. We want a box structure for this. Ignore that. Ignore that. And that. And that. And that. Track construction. Box. Wants to be facing that sort of direction. Uh, upper radius. Bring that radius down. Actually, no. What we want to do? Track. Bit of more, bit more track. A bit of more track. And then we want the lower track radius to be stretched out. Don't know if I'm going in the right direction, though doesn't feel like I'm doing much because I'm doing the radius and not the actual crossing angle so that's probably better isn't it crossing angle make it a little bit less no more it's quite a long box this 
and then I've messed around with all the radiuses and stuff haven't I so kind of just have that as, as nothing is there a zero yeah we'll take that and then we'll get these tracks connected up a bit like that and then these tracks do do run alongside each other for quite a while but obviously they do run alongside each other for quite a while in real life but obviously because of the scale we can't have them running quite so long together because we do have to have the next thing which i think i will do in the next episode which is the db Schenker, um what is it euro hub so yeah we've got a quite i know we haven't doesn't like we've done much in this episode but you've got quite a complicated arrangement done there i think what i'll do just before i wrap it up because i would like to have something to show for all our hard work is get this track in along here we just need a switch in there don't we and then from there into there too much curved can i come can i come off here straight into there oh it's gonna let me do it yeah and it's it's slow is it flat though yes it is flat that's fine so at least we've got our tilbury junction it really was quite a complicated build and that's not right either i think should i do a little time lapse i probably should shouldn't i of detailing this obviously i would like this to be a cable stayed bridge just to make that a little bit more accurate but yeah, considering how complicated that arrangement is, I think I've actually managed to do it. It's like threading the eye of a needle, that, isn't it? Uh, let's just check how that looks, just to make sure there's no horrible angle coming off that. No, there isn't. That's all nice and flat. Yeah, so it, although it looks pretty messy at the minute, you can see what we're trying to achieve anyway and how complicated things are. And then we can finally get HS1 hooked up a bit early. I don't know we're in 1998, but as you can see there, coming back and doing that later on would have been a heck of a job to do so it's just better to get it done now even though we won't have hs1 services operating from well not from here anyway not from st pancras they're obviously operating from waterloo i want to say is it yeah so not a lot to show for it but i will do some work off camera i think i'll do a little bit of a time lapse just to tidy this up and finish it off maybe post that after this episode's gone live but we'll leave it there for today anyway so until next time bye bye